first of all, what we're doing. What we're really doing is filming a 60 second firework display. But instead of fireworks being explosives with light, we're doing it with paint and liquid. We wanted to move away a little bit from the ball side, so we ended up in this place which was like fireworks, paint explosions, landmines of color. It's a unique idea, it's an iconic idea, and uh, it's never been done before. It, there's no doubt that, that it has scale. When you turn up on a shoot and there's 200 people that are going to appear on your shoot, you know, you get some idea of the scale of this. There's no doubt whatsoever that Jonathan Glazer was absolutely the, the right choice uh, for director. He knew what to keep from balls and what not to keep from balls. And, and he made the, you know, a similar celebration, expression, which is much more punk with more attitude. San Francisco needed the balls, Glasgow needed the paint, I think. This whole project is about performance and uh, I think there's an attitude that has to be very liberated and quite free. What we're looking at is quite visceral, but the music is quite balletic, and, uh, and I think that, that has a very nice and uh, original effect. I think Glasgow is a fantastic place, but uh, the weather is uh, a little bit of a challenge up there. After uh, two weeks of absolutely beautiful, sunny, still weather, we're back to Glasgow weather. When you've got an entirely cloudy sky and you know you've got one of the biggest shots and two days to reset it if it's gone completely wrong. It takes quite an extraordinary director of photography to call action when there's probably a, a hole you know, this big in the sky. And cut! The days approaching this shoot, I was quite nervous and uh, I, I guess who wouldn't be? We were about to blow up a building in, in, in Glasgow. The fact that you were on the set and, and, and you're all the time like thinking, oh, if I touch that cable, something's going to go off and the you know, whole building is going to collapse in pain. It's like a two-week penalty shootout. Okay, is everyone 100% ready? Dan, are you ready? Chris, are you ready? Yeah. Connor, are you ready? Yeah. Right, Dan, are you ready? Yeah. You got the trigger, right? Yeah. Okay. Roll tape. There was no room for failure at all. There was one take for everything. It was kind of high nerves, but, but very exciting. Okay, guys. Three. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not ready. No. When, when I said action, Alex, don't okay. scare me. Firing in three, two, one. We've had a team of uh, six of us working on it since mid-April now and uh, this week they're starting to be signed off which is four months and a couple of weeks later and we've been working solidly on it every day because although the technology is advanced you're still pushing it to the limits. The clown I guess is the other interesting element to this because it's not paint blowing up it's sort of a human moment. The feeling at the end of the day was that if he could set up the big moment when the reverse demolition occurs and the whole building goes up in the rainbow colours, it felt like it gave that moment even more weight and power. We're going through the full colour spectrum all the way to the top of the building. We're using direct sunlight, back three quarter, and there should be a very vibrant colour spectrum available. It's like a hit of colour like you've never felt. Stand by. Initiate firing sequence. Tape's rolling. You're hot. One, three, two, one.